Well, this week we're looking at visors, or looking through visors, Chris. Three different visors here, all visibly different. Tell me what's legal and what isn't legal here. Then. OK, well, the easiest one is a straightforward clear visor. Got to be uh, marked BS approval with a XA, YAZA stamp on there. Say that again in English. <laughs> it's about full it's got of it. a BS stamp on it. <laughs> right, fair enough, yeah. Okay. Um, there's, all it boils down to is minimum light transmissions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, a uh, basic visor, you can go down to 75% of the light available coming through it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can go down to as low as 50% if it's a smoke visor. Again, BS stamped, but it's got to have on it for daytime use only. Right. Okay. That's, that's legal then, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Anything okay. below 50% at the moment is illegal. Right. Okay. Now, a standard dark visor like this one would probably come in about 20% or something right. like that. That's got no stamps on it, no marks on yeah, it. Yeah, so it's illegal to start off with because it's not stamped, which none of them are because they know they're all illegal. Right. Okay. I know the legislation is going to change. Um, they haven't said exactly what it's going to be, but it's going to be down to about 20 to 25% minimum light transmission, as long as it's obviously stamped up, right. marked up for daytime use only, and you're carrying a clear one with you. That's the thing, isn't That's it? It's a common thing. sense, isn't it, really? Yeah. You've got to have a clear one because you never know when the sun's going to go in. So what about this one then, Chris? This is a clear visor, stamped up, but it's got a reactor light type screen inside it. Yeah, it's exactly the same as um, the thing with the cars, you know, the hot hatch cars where you start off with your clear windscreen side windows then the kids put on the, oh. the smoke sticker. Yeah. Same thing. Right. It's okay, but as soon as that goes dark, if it goes below the 50% minimum light transmission, then that is going to make it illegal. So that could make that legal visor into an illegal visor. Yeah. But you'd have to test that in its fully reactive state, if you like. Yeah. 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 And you'd be unlucky to come up against the policeman, wouldn't you, that's got all the testing gear on his bike? You would. There aren't, there aren't many uh, what we call so, tint man kits about. So that's a bit of a grey area, that really, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? But on a day like today, I mean, outside today, it's lovely and sunny, uh, a dark visor is probably the safest, I think. You must agree with that, yeah? I would have to agree with it. Yeah. Although that is currently illegal. Yeah. Um, for instance, in South Yorkshire, we've actually had occasions where we've, we've dealt with collisions, and we can say that the guy has probably had the collision because it was dazzled by bright sunlight mm. and he's had a clear visor on. So the argument, right. therefore, could be, well, had he had a dark visor on, right. would it have improved his vision? I know from my personal point of view, um, on a racetrack, of course, that yep. in sunlight like this, riding with a dark visor can actually improve your vision. So you could therefore yep. argue it's a road safety aid, which is why they're looking at changing the So that's why the law is going to change. Right. Yes. What's the penalty, then, if you get pulled on the street with that <coughs> on and say you've not got a clear one and you're, you're breaking the law? Yeah. More than well, likely, uh, a fixed penalty, £30, non endorsable but potentially a level two will find 500 quid if you 500 it. quid? That's For what legislation the allows. That could have happened. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm off now and I think I'll put this one back on. <laughs>